My name is Megan Gunner. I'm a professor at the Institute of Child Development at the University of Minnesota in the U.S. Around the world, one to two million children are growing up in orphanages where they experience sometimes profound neglect. And there are many millions more children who are experiencing neglect in their families. We pay more attention to physical and sexual abuse, but our evidence is showing that neglect, especially in young children, has profound effects on the way the body and the brain develop. In animal studies, we've learned that the experience of neglect will actually shape the way the body's stress system develops. Our bodies calibrate how harsh and supportive the environment is, and we modify our physiology, especially our stress physiology, to adjust to that. In my own work, my students and I study children adopted from orphanages into homes in the U.S. And we do this because those children experience neglect early in life and then move into families where they are the apple of several parents' eyes and have a very supportive environment after that. What we've discovered is that the stress system adapts to that early harsh environment and it does not shift its functioning when children first come into the home and for many years later. However, we're finding that there is hope for a recalibration to a normal stress system, and that comes with puberty. And that at puberty, it appears that the body opens up its, its senses to sort of find out what the world is like and how harsh it is at that point. And if the world is not as harsh, it will recalibrate and start functioning more normally. So we believe that there is hope for children to begin to function more normally, especially as they have that opportunity as they move into puberty.